You know, we'll go out and we'll spend hundreds of dollars on a, on a nice pistol, but then we'll turn right around and spend $10 on an inferior holster. And you know, I, I was at the gun show recently, and this is actually a few couple of years ago, and picked up a, uh, a pistol. I had $30 left over. I paid $20 for a box of ammo. I spent $10 on a holster. And you know what? I don't even use this holster. You know, a lot of times people buy holsters like this just to keep your gun. But if you are really planning to have a holster and use it, you need to have a good quality holster. And you know, a lot of them, a lot of people are buying the Phobos, which Phobos is great. It's lightweight. It's real easy. It's very inexpensive. But um, you know, if you're really serious about shooting, if you want a modular system, something that you can uh, do with competition, CCW, uh, you know, out hiking and hunting and fishing and doing all the things that you do, your activities, really when you're out in the field, you need a good quality holster. You're gonna look at one of an excellent quality holster, the G-Code, this is the OSH version. It's an excellent holster. And we're gonna look at some of the different, this is very modular, so we're gonna look at some of the different features. But before you go out and buy this holster and that inferior holster, and you buy three or four, you can buy one holster that'll fit many needs. Now I'll do a little demonstration with the OSH G-Code holster. Uh, G-Code's made here in the USA, North Carolina. And uh, I found out about these guys through a real good buddy of mine. And I'm going to tell you what, I've been just super impressed with the quality. And we're going to look at all the quality and everything, but this is the OSH. It's open-topped uh, holster, and which makes it really easy to draw. Very quick draw and uh, very easy to reholster, which can be important. Also, we're going to look at the GDM. This is the uh, mag carrier, which fits with this. And, you know, when you're pulling your gun, it's great to have magazines ready to go. Especially, you know, competition is one of the places where I use this the most, but also tactically, or uh, if you're just out and about, this still makes a great system, and uh, the quality is really exceptional. Here is the OSH holster, a little closer look. Uh, nice Kydex, nice mill thickness, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really a rigid system but yet you can adjust it with the attention screw. It retains your pistol very well. And of course this, this shirt guard as well that really keeps it from uh, snagging. It's our steel, the screws are, are just nice. On back, the back here has the RTI adapter. And this of course fits into the RTI wheel. We're gonna compare the Serpa as well. Now some of you already have Serpas. We're gonna look at an adapter that you can fit onto yours to go to the, the uh, RTI wheel. You know, the strike platform is nice and it's it's good quality and I like it myself, but to me, this is superior. And we're gonna look at that as well and give you some ideas. But, um, you know, this is the locking mechanism right here. And then when you wanna release, push that through. I'm gonna demonstrate it with the system itself. Push the tab. It is, is solid. In fact, I'm pulling that as hard as I can. The uh, they're steel rivets here, and then you have these into the RTI wheel. So this is not going to come off. And that is one of the complaints I've heard, especially with uh, even with the, the Serpa and with the Phobos. And I'll demonstrate that with the Phobos right here, as you can see. And like I've got a bunch of these that I've had. They're just really inexpensive. They're great just to put a pistol in and to carry. They're very lightweight. But one of the complaints is this is a very fragile point right here that can actually if someone grabbed a hold of this thing they could actually rip this from your belt but the mill thickness here is very thin and it is very light which compared to the thickness of these paddles yeah there's give because it is kydex but it's a nice thick stable platform the RTI wheel itself can be adapted to many different ways to carry. Of course, this is their paddle. They have three different paddle designs, which I think is pretty cool as well. Here we see the short paddle, but this is the more extended secured teeth, but it doesn't hook and it's fairly easy to take off, unlike some of the other systems that are very difficult to remove once you put them on. And to me, the that's one of the reasons why the paddle is so attractive. It's because you can put it in and then you can pull it out but yet you're not gonna pull this out uh, unless you mean to. There are also belt attachments, mini Molly 
platform attachments as well. You can even attach this to a shoulder harness. Uh, but you need to go to tacticalholsters.com. That's the G-Code website. And you can check out all their different systems. There are so many and so many different variations. And that's one of the things that I think is so attractive to me to the G-Code system is that you can buy this, get the RTI wheel set up, and you can have so many different holsters all in one. Many different configurations, many different ways of carry. Now, for you guys who have the Serpa, man, I love Serpa. I mean, I, I like the system, and uh, really, uh, I've enjoyed having this holster. This is for my Glock 17. But one of the cool things about this RTI system is that these are adaptable. They have an adapter that'll fit right onto your Serpa. So I can use this with all my G-Code holsters, and then you can pick up a G-Code holster to um, expand your line. G-Code is working on their own uh, push-button release. In fact, I'm going to be getting one in the next uh, week or so where they're, I'm going to be doing some field tests and evaluation before they put it out. Uh, I, I really, If you already have a Serpa, this is great to be able to retrofit it to go to your, um, your G-Code system. Of course, the RTI platform here can be removed very easily with just some screws. Uh, there are reset screws in the back here, so it is a solid piece. You can put a paddle, take this off, attach a paddle directly to it, which brings it much closer to your body. Great for competition in certain tactical situations if you're using this RTI wheel, but if you want to reduce this thickness, you can very easily with a paddle system. And this way you can go more with a concealed carry. I'm going to demonstrate just inserting the pistol. Of course, this pistol has been safety checked, but you can insert the pistol it does have a nice retention this is not going anywhere in fact I could tighten this up a little bit more but I like it just a little bit loose so I don't have to really yank on it to pull it out especially for very fast draw it resets very nice as well that's the Springfield champion here I've got a Colt commander that's uh, that I love and it also fits in here very nicely one of the things that I will mention about g-code and uh, they carry all the Glocks, all your 1911 variations, your um, SIG, H and K, and they're very limited though, even Beretta 92, but some of the XDs and the Smith & Wessons, they are working on those right now, so just keep track, keep watch, and um, I know that they've even been in touch with me that they are expanding their line. G-Code offers their holsters, this is green, they also do black and a foliage, and they do a desert tan. Now this is the XST version which I do have a, an earlier review on this one this is the tactical fuzz which you can do on any of the pistols uh, of course for an additional charge but this reminds me of suede I love this holster it's just beautiful but it has the look of suede but it has all the attributes of modern kydex guys you can go out and you can buy four or five holsters for four or five different reasons or these start at about 38 bucks you can start out with a nice G-code holster that will fit many needs and so really you get a better quality and you know you're not spending any more money in the long run one thing I do want to mention too as far as uh, great reviews go to Chanderson one I'll have his link down below he has a couple of really great reviews on the G-code system that I really like and uh, in fact he has a, another model that I don't have and uh, which I'm actually planning to get so check out Chanderson one now, G-Code is offering a 15% discount. You put T-shirts in the coupon code, and you get a free G-Code T-shirt here with the skull and the headset on the back. Awesome. Then they're also offering this other T-shirt. You can open carry legally in any state. T-shirts in the coupon code. Also, this is for a limited time, and then they have Suits00 in the coupon codes good all the time. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. All right, zombie, stay back. Whoop. Wrong G-code system.